everyone welcome to my channel i'm jackie um i'm gonna be starting a channel cooking african food i'm originally from ghana so i'm gonna be making a lot of Ghanaian recipes on my channel here so today i'm gonna be making okra stew so here are the ingredients the first ingredient for an um, okra soup a stew is some okra this is blended with a little bit of water and that's it the palm oil the red palm oil some good meat cut and wash nicely fresh fish and fresh shrimps washed and kept clean some mushrooms right here a lot of mushrooms and some onions sliced a little bit of bell pepper sliced and some scotch bonnet right here so i have my two maggie cube salt edible and this is the real edible this container con says edible but it has my chicken base soup that's the yellow chicken base soup and it can also be used for spices and some curry powder and also i do have some blended garlic ginger and onions together and bowl of water that's it so my bowl my yeah so here's my cooking pot and i'm just gonna be putting my meat that is gold meat so the gold milk is in the pot the pot is set on medium heat and here's the blended um ginger garlic and onion i'm gonna dump all of this in the pot and just stir it in nicely So I'm just stirring it in and making sure everything is nicely coated. And with this, I'm going to drop um, my Maggie right here. A little bit of my edible. Like, we, we don't really measure, so I'm just going to eyeball just a little bit of my edible. And I really love this um, yellow chicken base soup. I add a little bit more onto that. Just a little bit more. And some salt. Just a little bit of salt and my curry powder. So just a little bit of curry to give it a taste. And I'm just gonna cover that up and let it cook and we're gonna turn onto the okra for a bit. So on this cooking pot, it also set on high now. I'm going to reduce it a little bit more. And what I'm going to be cooking right here is also my Adam. So I have the clean cooked fish right here. And also my shrimp. So these stuffs, the reason why I'm not cooking it in the other pan right here is because um. I, the meat, the fish breaks pretty quickly, so I do not want it to be like so mushy in the food. So what I'm gonna be doing is, um, we did with this. I didn't add any water. Like when you're cooking meat, don't add too much water because all these spices and all the juiciness is gonna add water to it, so you can get your full spices taste. So I just have a little bit of mine blended garlic onions and ginger i'm gonna put that uh, on the fish make sure everything is pre cooked and i'm gonna add a little bit of water just a little bit with this one because of the fish i do not want it to be too mushy and stuck so So I'm also going to add a little bit of um, curry powder, just a little bit, and with that one I don't want to add too much spices, so just a little bit of my chicken base soup. Just a little bit, and a little bit of salt. And I'm going to reduce the heat, the medium heat, and just color that up medium heat 
cover that up and let that simmer. So I'm gonna be moving on to my ochre still whilst I'm gonna wait for this still to ball up. I'm gonna be balling my ochre and I'm gonna be showing you the right way to ball the ochre. So stay tuned. So here is my ochre blended with a little bit of water. So I'm not gonna add any water to this. And here's the pan. I'm gonna put the ochre right in. So there it goes. And what I'm gonna be doing now is to mix the ochre because we want it really like tangy. Yeah, I think that's the right word I have to use. So we want it more slippery. Yeah, we don't want the ochre soup to be more like ugh, I'm not really that slippery. So I'm just gonna it on high heat now. So I'm just um gonna stir it a little bit not that much just a little bit and just reduce the heat to a medium and wait till it boil a little bit and i'm gonna come back and show you guys the end result so guys i'm back so here is the okra boiling right here and i didn't add any water as i said when i was blending the okra i didn't want to add any water to it whilst i'm cooking it so look how slippery it looks that is how I want it. So we don't, you don't stir it too much because if you stir it too much, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be that slippery. So I'm gonna leave it on for a bit, and I'm gonna let you guys glance through. This is the meat balling and cooking, and right here is also the shrimps and fish. I'm not gonna cook it any longer than 10 minutes, so I'm gonna be done with it, and I'm gonna show you very soon so I'm just gonna stir it gently and just see how it's going and this is the okra you can hear it bubbling and I do not want to stir it too much and I do not want to cook it too much cuz I'm also gonna be putting it in a stew form right so it needs to be boiled a little bit and it needs to be cooked a little bit so I do not want it all that Cook to the bone 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 so I'm just gonna dump it all over once it's done and show you the end result at the end. so okay guys here is the end result of the cooked okra you see it's not that cooked cuz I wanted to cook with the sauces with everything together so I'm gonna turn quickly to my pot and here is my red oil my red palm oil cooking I'm gonna be dumping in my onions. So my onions is in the pot. I'm gonna stir it a little bit. Stir it and cook it so it's a little bit tender. I don't want to cook food too much. In Africa, we cook it too much so all the nutrients are left out. So I don't really want to cook it too much. Okay. So I'm just going to also dump in my mushrooms right here. I have a lot of mushrooms and this is going to like go down. It's not that much if you see it like that. So I'm just going to dump in the mushroom and I'll be back. So here are the mushrooms and I'm going to be stirring that up with the onions together. And guys, I'm going to leave this for 5 minutes or 2-3 to three minutes. Probably 5 minutes. And you guys are gonna see how this is gonna go really down so just stay tuned so guys I'm back with the mushrooms and these mushrooms are looking really good and succulent so that is how it looks like you see I told you everything is just gonna drop down dead so what I'm gonna be adding to my last is my peppers I just like a little bit of peppers in the okra stew. It makes it really nice and tasty. So I'm also going to leave that to simmer for a bit. And I'm just going to cover that up for two minutes. And I'm going to turn over to my meat. So this is my meat still cooking, my good meat. Like you see how these sauces are kind of like getting in there, you know. Getting everywhere and making it really good. 
And this is also my fish and shrimp. I don't know that you guys can see. I'm sorry, guys. I'm filming from my phone, so this is gonna be hard. Yeah, yeah the vapor. Holy. So, yep. Stay tuned. So once these stuff are just simmering and getting together, I blended my three scotch bonnet pepper and I'm just gonna drop it in. I like it hot. <laughs> yeah. I don't like too much spicy, but when it comes to my African food, I know what I'm talking about spicy. So I'm also gonna leave it again for two minutes and now I'm gonna be dropping in my okra and that's it. So I'm gonna be dropping my final white 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 ingredient and this is the okra right into the bowl. Stir it up really good. Stir it up really really good. everything up really good so you see how slippery this looks that is how I want it so I'm gonna leave it to cover and simmer for a little bit and you're gonna see the red oil in and I'm gonna be dropping all those meat and all those fishes and all those crazy um, shrimp right in there that is still boiling so I'm just gonna cover this up and show you the state of the meat right here this meat is still cooking up and I have to put it really on low now and see and now this is my fish too so I'm gonna be back soon so guys I'm back everything is set once the meat all the shrimps and the fish is put in this place the only thing I'm gonna do is add all my spices back because I lost all my taste during the boiling and the cooking and adding of water so I'm gonna be using my salt and all those seasoning I showed you and my maggi cube and I'll come back with a final 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 look of this okra stew so stay tuned please so guys so guys here's the final look of this okra stew and this is the okra stew I made with goat made shrimp and fish and this is the final look of this stew and you can eat it with gari as the Nigerians make it with eba you can eat it with um, our own African Ghanaian recipe called banku and that is what I'm gonna be making next so my next video is gonna be make is gonna be about how to make banku and I'm gonna know I'm not gonna be adding it to this video because it's gonna make this video really long so this is the final product of the okra steel thank you and I hope you like it <laughs>